Hi, Daniel. Hi, Walter. Hi, Elmer. Good evening, my dear teacher. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Fine, how are you? Hi, Walter. Hi, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? For all of you guys, was good? Hello, teacher. Hi, Walter. Good evening. So, are we ready to finish today? Yes. yes. Excellent. All right. Very good. Thanks. Yes. Okay. So, remember that next week we don't have classes and depends on everybody's document and everybody finishing the platform for us to begin on March the 2nd. Okay. So, let's try to do everything the way it should be so we can, like, can start right away. All right, so let's see. We're going to do the last topic of this unit, of this section, and then we're going to do the final, uh, the final um, exam, okay? I know, for okay. example, Elmer has done everything already, but, I mean, it's important for him to help us, right, Walter? I mean, right, Elmer? <laughs> Elmer se todo, se fue. Okay, so I'm going to... Hi. Hi. Nothing, forget it. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Annie. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Good, all right, so, uh-huh. Un poco preocupada. Why, Eli? Porque no me salen los ejercicios, siempre me salen malos. Todo, Eli. De la cinco, no, de la parte, de la lección cinco. Okay, ya vamos, vamos a terminar the last topic, Ellie, of the section, and then we're going to work on the platform, okay? Así es que si tienen sus okay. computadoras o donde hacen la plataforma así como encendidas y listas para, para poder eh, hacer los ejercicios, that would be great, okay? Y si quieren okay. empiecen a tenerlos ya así listos para cuando ya empecemos a hacer eso, no tengamos que esperar que conecte y todo eso, okay? Okay. So don't worry, Ellie, be happy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the very last topic of the section five, past models. All right, and let's see. Daniel, then see, can you read the explanation that you see there on blue? Uh, let me. Uh, past models. Mm -hmm. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestion about suggestions about the past. Okay, so we use would have have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about the about actions in the past now remember that the past participles is not the same as simple past okay it's different yes is that okay yeah you, we, we know the difference right okay let's see walter what is the past participle of go gone excellent all right Elmer, what is the past participle of a speak? A spoken. Excellent. Daniel, what's the past participle of be? Been. Excellent. Very good. Ellie, what is the past participle of it? Eating? Uh, uh, eating? Yeah, eaten. Very good. Eating. Yes, eating. Eating. very good. Uh, Annie, what is the past participle of um, Annie Garay? Okay. What yes. is the past participle of a speak? A speak spoken. Excellent. Okay, so we know the past participles, which that's very good. So what we have to uh, do now is we need to use should or would, depending on high Rocio, on what we want to say. But in this case, we use both to give opinions or suggestions, all right? So, uh, let me see. Daniel, Daniel Del Cid, yes. can you read the question, the first question, please? What should? What should I have done? What should I have done, okay? Elmer, can you read the first one? You should? You should, you should have told them about it. Yes, you should have oh. told them about it, okay? What about Walter? Can you read the second one? You shouldn't? Uh, you shouldn't have a uh, hit in it. All right, very good. Okay, so in both cases, one is affirmative and the other one is negative. 
but we're using the same structure. Should have or shouldn't have plus the past participle of the following verb, which in this case, told is tell, told, told, and uh, hid, hide, hid, hidden, all right? Let's see, um, Ellie, can you read the other one, please? Where it says, um, where it says, what would you have done? Uh, can you see it? <laughs> what would you have done? I, I would have called, called him. him. I would have called him. I would have, I would, I would have called him. Uh -huh. I would have I wouldn't? sent him an email. Okay, so wouldn't. I would have yes. sent him. I would. I wouldn't. wouldn't have sent him. him. I wouldn't have have sent him an email. That's right. Okay. So in this, uh, in both cases, we use a would have or wouldn't have. Depends on what you want to say, you use affirmative or you use negative, okay? Do you understand the difference? Yes. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right, very good. All right, Rocio, if I tell you, for example, uh, you know, Rocio, um, I had a fight with my supervisor, okay? What should you have done in my case? Can you help me giving me an an an, an buy, I mean a suggestion or an opinion? Uh, could you repeat please? <laughs> yes, I said, yeah, that's okay. I said I had a fight with my supervisor. Oh. Uh, you should have you should have talked with him. Okay. And um probably you have, you should have uh, given explanation okay. about, uh, about your, uh, if you uh, was angry. If you so were angry, uh-huh. You, you were angry, you should have to ask, mm -hmm. uh, apologize. Apologize, <laughs> okay, yes. an apology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, uh -huh. It's not good to, to, to be fighting with the boss. <laughs> yes, it's not. All right, very good. Okay. Mm. Just be relaxed. Yeah, no kidding. Relax. Take a relax. <laughs> a, a nice re yeah, I like to have a nice relationship. Let's see, Elmer. Okay. Elmer, you, let's see, what's the situation? Let's think about a situation for Elmer. Uh, ah, Elmer, you lost. Um, your wife's, I don't know, um, and Yeah, that is it's okay. No, it's okay. You lost your wife's <laughs> passport, okay? You lost it, Elmer. Okay, so what would you do? What would you have done if, you know, if that would have been real? <laughs> I should take care with the document. I take should... Him. I have should uh -huh. I should have taken good care of the document, Elmer. Yes, of course. Yeah. You are not a good boy. All yes, right? it's, it's, it's true, teacher. <laughs> it's true. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. So this pretty much is not like very difficult. You just have to remember that you have to use would have or should have plus the past participle of the other verb that you want to. Uh, use okay, so it's not very much like very very complicated. I just want to see something here. Uh, let me see. Sure, on a question. Yes. The, what the sentences was the us? Yeah. What would you have done? Is um, qué es lo que qué significa que qué hubiera hecho usted? Hubiera hecho. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y in what should I have done? Qué debería de hacer? Y ya. No. Ajá. Lo que Así. pasa es que el should es, should you would, al, al, in this case, you're using it the same way. All right. Mm -hmm. So in both cases, should is like, let's say a little, like a suggestion more than an opinion. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so you have studied more for the exam, all right, or you would have um, studied more. So That's should in this case mm -hmm. is more like for a suggestion and what is more for like an opinion. I would have uh, gone to the concert, all right, um, mm -hmm. or something. So would you use it more for opinions and should you use it more for suggestions? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But the rest, the structure um, is the same, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you use should or would plus have, it goes together, should have, would have, and then the past participle of the other verb that you're going to be mm -hmm. using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's pretty much what it is, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, do you guys have, yeah, very good. Uh, let's see, what I want you to do right now, like really quickly, so we have enough time to work on the final test. I'm gonna send you to your groups right now, and I want you to think, for example, if I'm working with Rocio, Rocio, I want you to think about, Okay, and then you tell your partner the situation and ask him or her, what should, ha what should you have done? Okay, or what would you have done? Those two questions. So your partner is giving you two answers. One with should have and the other one with would have. Positive or negative, it doesn't matter, but using would have or should have. Do you understand what you're supposed to do? For sentences. <laughs> No, no, I don't want you to make, I mean, yeah, what I want you to do is like, for example, I'm working with Rocio, I think about one situation, and then I tell Rocio my situation. For example, I said, did you listen to the example before when I said, Rocio, today I had a fight with my supervisor, okay? And I asked Rocio, what should you have done, Rocio? And then she gave me a suggestion, okay? So first think of a situation and then come up with a sentence and a would have sentence. So you have one suggestion and one opinion. You understand? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. For each group. Okay. Yeah. So like whoever you're working with, just come up together with a situation and then come up with a, an opinion and a suggestion. Okay. I'm going to send you to your groups right now. Noemi, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Noe. ¿Qué ya tal? Yo así como que, where is Noemi? What? <laughs> Los milagros suceden, teacher. Of course, I know. Y no puedo. <laughs> Very good. Okay, there you go, guys. Noemi, ya voy a entrar al su grupo a explicarle lo que van a hacer porque se acaba de entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Ok. Solo denle a Ulises. Carlos, Emilio, hello. Hello, teacher. All right, join the group right now, guys, and then I'm going to go to your group and explain what to do. Ok. Just give me a second here. There you go.
Este, pero en el otro caso es más opinión. What would you have done? Por ejemplo, ¿qué haría, qué habría hecho? ¿Qué habría hecho? I would have called him. I would, entonces, I would have done. Uh -huh, esas, dos, esas dos opciones. ¿Qué hubiera ido a hacer? O ¿Qué hubiera hecho? hecho? ¿Qué hubiera hecho? No, hubiera no. sido, lo hubiera llamado, dice. Uh -huh. no, lo, ajá, lo hubiera llamado, yo lo hubiera llamado. Y abajo no lo llamé, sino no que lo, le escribí. Okay. No, yo no le hubiese mandado un correo a él. Ah. Ajá. Entonces, lo que le estaba explicando Rocío, ¿no es? Sí. Es que el would have lo ocupamos para dar opinión. Ok, usted me, me expresa una opinión. Ah, you would, I would have eh, tal cosa, ¿no? Y el, el should have es más sugerencia. Ok, okay. okay. ahora. Uh -huh. El should have es el más sugerencia. Es sugerencia. Uh -huh. Y el would have es opinión. Entonces yo le cuento una situación a usted. Mire, fíjese que me chocaron el carro. ¿verdad? ¿Qué hubiera hecho usted en mi lugar? Va. Y me dice, ah, yo hubiese ido a la policía, por decirlo. All right. Esa es como, como la opinión. Y la otra es como... ¿Yo debí? ¿O yo hubiera hecho tal cosa? Yo debería haber. Ajá, ajá. ¿O usted debería haber ido? Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Will. Con el should uh -huh. es más sugerencia. Y el okay. would es cuando ya yo le doy una opinión. Ahora, en ambos casos, ya tanto mi sugerencia como mi opinión, ya es tarde porque ya la situación ya pasó y usted hizo algo. ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ahora, okay. en ambos casos igual, Noemi, usamos should have o would have plus past participle. Esa, es, esa, esa estructura no cambia para ninguna de las dos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. ahorita la idea es que entre las dos pensar en una situación. Por ejemplo, esa, me chocaron el carro y yo uh -huh. le pedí dinero al tipo que me chocó el carro. ¿Y qué hubiera uh -huh. hecho Noemi? Hubiera hecho lo mismo o no, obviamente no, para usar estas hubiera, hubiera hecho otra cosa. Entonces, no en mí, o las dos piensan en una de should have y otra de would have, o shouldn't have o wouldn't have. Y es positivo o negativo y depende de cómo la quieren hacer ustedes. Ok. All right. Ok, teacher. Thank Very you. good. You're welcome. Should or would? Would. Ajá. Should or would. Ajá. Is, is in this case is, uh, uh, is use, uh, no sé si ves mi pantalla. Sí, sí, la veo. Ajá, es use, would, would have, or should have. Plus, past Plus. participle to give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Siempre. My dear teacher, está ahí. Hi, yes, aquí estoy. Hi, teacher. Hi, <laughs> Ajá. Eh, Carlos, otra cosa que es importante, que yo creo que Elmer ya se lo dijo, es que el would have lo ocupo para dar una opinión. El ah, should okay. have lo ocupo para dar una sugerencia. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. Entonces, esa es como la mayor diferencia entre ambos. ¿Cuándo ocupo el would, would have? Para cuando yo le doy ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo ocupo el should have? Para cuando yo le doy una sugerencia o un con... Ajá, una sugerencia. Ahora, ambas cosas, tanto la sugerencia como la opinión, ya, ya llegan tarde porque usted ya hizo otra cosa. Sí, o sea, definitivamente. Eso ya pasó, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> ¿Para qué dice? Sí, claro, entonces yo le digo, ah, yo hubiera <risa> hecho tal cosa o yo debía haber hecho tal otra. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. I drink only two, two birds, for example. Y you should uh, have done, you should have... Uh -huh. And drinking, twelve, drunk, 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 and twelve, serve beers. Beers, ajá. Ajá. En vez de dos, twelve, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, uh -huh. claro. Imagínense las sugerencias que le dan. La misma, es que es la misma, <laughs> la misma. El viernes por la tarde, en la noche. <laughs> <laughs> y el yes. cuerpo lo sabe. <laughs> I know. Yes, All right. Entonces, eso sería, Emilio. Ahora, la, lo okay. que queríamos que hicieran 
es que entre los dos en este caso pensaran en una sugerencia, en, perdón, en una situación que haya pasado. Eh, sí, ya, ya, la ya la pensamos. Ya la pensamos. Ah, va. Okay, okay. Sí, sí, por ejemplo, no sé, pero corríjanosla. A ver. Uh, I, I lost my world, world tra transportation in the morning. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, yes. Okay. Losting, es mm -hmm. losting. Uh, I, I should uh, wake up. I should have. Early, been, yeah. Ha, uh, yes, have, I should have how, woken up. Woken up, yes. Woken up early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, listo. Mm -hmm. I should get up, uh, you should get up, get up, up early. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You should have woken up. El, yeah. el have no se les puede olvidar, ¿verdad? Okay, Ahora, algo que también es, 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 es importante recordar es que como estamos usando should or would, es lo mismo para todas las personas, no para he o she va a ser diferente, ¿verdad? Sino que digo, he should have. Usted me cuenta algo sobre Carlos y le digo, él hubiera hecho tal cosa, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces le digo, Carlos, or he would have gone to the police, or he should have gone to the police. No cambia a has, ¿verdad? Aunque es tercera persona, no cambia, porque como llevo el should o el would, es igual para todos. Uh -huh. Lleva el auxiliar. Exacto, Ajá. que lleva el, como el modal, ¿no? Entonces el modal es como uh -huh. los protege. Y no, uh -huh. no, por lo tanto no hay ninguna inflexión, no hay ningún cambio. Ok, my dear teacher, entendido. Right. Excellent. All right, we're going to go back. Vamos a ver, bueno, voy a revisar otro, otro grupo por ahí. And I'll be back, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ahora Me sí, quedo sí, entonces. <laughs> Um, um, hi Walter, hi. Hello. Hi teacher. Hi, hi Annie. Teacher. Finish. Hi. Since in this moment I am talking about this situation. Ah, know? excellent. Okay, so what's With the situation? Partner. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So what happened on the situation? The, the, the his employee is nothing. About the incapacity, the day's incapacity of the the person. Okay. And he then told to Elmer Walter. after after three days. Walter. <laughs> ah, Walter, excuse me. That's okay. After so, three days, no when the president the, the company. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you have to give one advice and one suggestion. And I just suggest to, to Walter to talk with her. Okay, so you say I should have talked to, to her. To, I should have Talk? talked with her. That's right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about with would have, uh, Walter? Uh, mm, yes, I uh, talked talk to her and. And, and, and remember the rules of the company. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. And okay. be careful for the, for the next time. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice. Okay. Let me just go check one more group, the last one, and then we come back. Okay. Okay, teach. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Eli. Hi. Hi. Eli Larin, why are you saying I can't finish the platform exercise? That's your situation? Cabal ah. <laughs> esa I can't ah. finish the platform exercise. I should have taken Ahorita, it. Antes de que se entrara la push. <laughs> All right, okay. So do you understand the difference between should have and would have? Uh, should have es como debería. Yeah. Yeah, y la otra es podría. Yeah. All right. So, acuérdese que en, en would have es más to give opinion. And should have is more suggestion. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, en la primera pusimos, I was late to my class. What would you have done? Right. Uh, you would, you would have took the taxi. You would have took a taxi. 
taken taken a taxi taken yeah mm -hmm. okay esa fue la primera okay very good all right nice uh, questions daniel uh, yes yes uh, if we uh, don't use uh, have mm -hmm. this is a uh, a situation in present in present tense or, yeah you know. but it's not giving any suggestion or it's not giving any advice the the role changes i can say i would go right for, it's a possibility for, in the future actually for example if i say uh, what should i do okay this is in in, in present tense. that's right yes you should go to the doctor for example but but he we use have is a um, situation in uh -huh. the past yes no? yeah yes. it is in the past now yes daniel that's true so in this case daniel when i give you a suggestion or an opinion saying you should have done it or you should have gone to the hospital the sit your situation already happened already finished all right so my advice uh -huh. and my suggestion they are late already because you did something different okay so now you're telling me what you did yesterday when that situation happened for example so my advice and my suggestion i mean they are like not useful because you did something different already okay okay it's a situation that already happened uh, it it start but no finish no it didn't finish for example you say hey jessica uh -huh. you know what happened to me yesterday and I say, hey what happened daniela and you say i had an accident i had yesterday and i say, oh really and what 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 uh, what what happened right and then you tell me yeah and then you start telling me and then you say and then the guy gave me 50 dollars okay and i look at the accident i look at you and say daniel come on you should have gone to the police or you should have okay. asked for more money all right now okay. the situation happened okay and you did something very different and then okay, i'm giving okay. you a suggestion and an opinion based on what you told me it's like in spanish we say okay all right yeah yes i got it okay very good so we're gonna go back right now and then we're gonna get ready with the platform exercises okay Okay. El Mercito, I can see you today. I can't hear you, Elmer. Elmer, I cannot hear you. Your mic is off. Día de no verla, my dear teacher. No, usted siempre me ve. Ah, bueno. De que no me vea. Ajá, De que no nos habíamos visto, pues. Ah, vaya. Y después dice, you don't love me anymore. You are the one. Yes, but it's a low hate. Oh. Relation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Ay, el versito que van a pensar los compañeritos nuevos. Nada, tío. Van a pensar la realidad. Wait. How do you say realidad in English? <laughs> en realidad. Reali reality. Reality show. Reality, reality show. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to work. Don't listen to Elmer, he's a little crazy. Okay, um, <laughs> we're going to work right now on the um, final exam, okay? So if you have your platform ready, uh, mm -hmm. that would be a very good, like, it would be a very good idea. You have your platform ready? ¿Quién ya terminó el, el examen final? Elmer. Yo, teacher, pero ahorita estoy en, en, en modo celular. Right, Rocío, ¿Ah? you haven't finished, Rocío. 
No, no yet. Okay, okay. Eli mm -hmm. Larín, no? No, right? No. No, Emi, no. Por, 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 por el cual? Por el, el Mirto, el, 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 el Mitter. El, el Mitter. Ajá. Okay, Eli, ¿cuál me dice? Eso voy usted? ahorita. Five, four, four. Five point four. Five point four. All right. Carlos Emilio, ¿por dónde vas en la plataforma? Tu micrófono, Carlos. No le escucho. Walter, ¿usted? Eh, final exam, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Yes, oh, chica. <laughs> Annie and Daniel, what, where are you on the platform? And uh, Amelie. Uh, I, I, two, two sections, two or three sections. I don't remember well. Uh, and Daniel, in your case? I am in section three. Section three. What happened, Daniel? You have only today. I know you have until Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, where are we here? Let's go to the, if you have your platform open, that would be very, very good. ¿Y de quién es esa pantalla? Esa no es mi Mira, teacher. teacher. Es que esta palabra me he trabado. Vaya, solo que, ¿en cuál está ahorita, Carlos? En el examen, en la B del examen final. Vaya, si quiere, eh, deme un chancecito. Vamos, voy a regresar a la, al primer, a la primera parte del examen que es el listening. Okay. Y luego vamos al B y al C y al D y al E, no me quiero. Vamos a todos, ¿ok? Ok. Solo déjenme aquí. Voy a compartir con ustedes el sonido de la computadora para que puedan oír. Ok. No tiene su plataforma abierta ahorita. Si gusta, solo copie la respuesta para que usted después solo lo haga en su plataforma, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok. Veamos aquí. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Yes. One. Hey, Wanda, did you hear about that teacher who won the lottery? Yes. I still can't believe he's going to keep teaching. Why not? He loves his job. What's wrong with that? Well, if I won that much money, I'd quit my job immediately. That's because you don't like your job. If you had a job that you really liked, you might not want to give it up. Maybe. But even if you like your job, there are so many other things to do in life. Two. Okay. What, was the, what would be the answer for letter A, for number one? Quit her job. 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 Okay, veamos la E. Quit her job. Let's write it here. Okay, let's go on with the next one. Number you watch two. that TV game show, Phil? The one where the winner has to choose between two prizes? I watch it sometimes. Why? Well, I couldn't believe what last night's winner did. She must have been crazy. Why? What were her choices? A three-month boat trip on the Amazon River or a new car. I know which I'd choose. I'd take the car. You wouldn't believe the repair bills I have on my old car. Besides, I wouldn't be able to take three months off work. So which did the winner choose? The car or the trip? Like you, she chose the car. All right. Three. What is the answer, guys? How are you what? enjoying working at the... Choose the, new choose the car. Choose the new choose car. The car. Choose the new yeah. car. All right. Choose the new car. Yeah, let's see number three. That new restaurant. I love it, Carl. The food's great, so it's crowded every night. But what's the money like? Oh, it's much better than my last job. The customers are so happy with the food that the tips are pretty good. But I feel bad about something that happened last night. Why? What happened? I served a group of foreigners. It must have been their first meal in this country. Anyway, they gave me a huge tip. I think they got confused with the currency. So, what did you do? Nothing. What would you have done? I would have told them the tip was too big. Four. What's wrong, Tina? All right. So what was, what was um, the choice? Return the big tip. Return the big tip. No, 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 no,
The first one? Yes. Yeah. It's the return of the, the big tip. Okay, so let's check it no. now. No? Returning to BT. Okay. Okay, yeah, because she says that she felt bad that they gave her a lot of money. All right, and then she says, What would you have done? And then he says, I would have told them about the big tip and just kind of like return it. So yeah, I think it's letter like number one. Let's listen to the last one and then we can check it. You got it right. You look I upset. Actually, I am. I did yeah, something wrong, but I still don't know what I should have done. What happened? Well, my English teacher has a rule about cell phones. At the beginning of class, she always reminds us to switch them off. I don't blame her. Cell phones shouldn't be allowed in classrooms. Well, I agree, Bruce, but I was waiting for an important call from my parents. My grandmother is in the hospital, so I didn't switch off my cell. Don't tell me. It rang in class. Yeah, right during our final quiz. What did she do? She asked me to leave the room. I feel terrible. What should I have done? I think you probably should have explained your predicament before the quiz. This is the end of the audio program. Thank you. All right, so what is the answer for that one? Okay, so all the teacher, let's check this one. All right, let's see how teacher. many you right. Uh huh. Fíjese de que ya tengo la la, la pantalla. pantalla. Ajá. ¿Tiene qué? Ya ya tengo compu. Ah, okay. Si quiere las comparto. Vaya, espéreme, espéreme, espéreme. Please. You have these answers, Elmer? Sí, to tengo. ¿Cuál es esa, teacher? La A. La, sí, la parte de listening. El número cuatro. Sí, la, la puedo el compartir, tercero. pero si, si me deja, me da chance. Vale, dale ahorita, a ver. El men, hace favor. En la four, el. What was number four? Sácame de aquí. Is the first. Yes, first option. Permíteme, no me deja. For his son, not the use your cell phones. A ver, class. ya dejé de compartir. Vaya, entonces, eh, ¿en cuál estaban, dice, teacher? El final exam, letter A, El, number four. Final exam, vaya. The listening. The listening. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Listening. Listening está así. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't do, don't the students. Don't the students don't use their cell phones in class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, el siguiente. Dele. It's probably mm, in esta. It's probably. It's probably. Mm -hmm. It's probably. You must. You have to. It's. Recuerden que el apóstrofe es al 39. Si, si lo ponen con la compu, no se los agarra. ¿Cuál es? ¿Al qué? El apóstrofe es al 39. El código ASCII. Ah, okay. Sí, porque si no se las marca como malas, aunque estén bien. Como malas, aunque estén bien. Sí. Al 39. Al 39. Me avisan para que lo hagamos rapidito y no nos vamos a terminar. Dele. <risa> ya. You're so nice, el mercito. Thank you, teacher. Ya sabía yo. No, mentira. <laughs> no sé si, si pueden ver esta respuesta. You have to turn out. out the lights before you leave. Ok, y acuérdense de poner el punto. 
¿Verdad? You have to always write the period, porque si no, igual se las toma mala, ¿verdad, Elmer? Sí. Ponelo al primer al inicio, por. You have... Ahí está, ¿eh? Have... Es que rapidita ah, las okay. maneras. Ajá. Uh -huh. the line. Espérame, 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 Ajá. Before you leave. Before, before you leave. leave. Uh -huh. Before uh, you leave. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You leave. You leave. Mm -hmm. Leave. 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 Okay. okay. Hay que poner el punto siempre, ¿verdad? Hay que poner el punto, sí. Uh, okay. Mira, si no se las toma mal, la mayúscula y punto. Sí. Uh, you can. Uh -huh, you can. You can eat or drink. Yes. You can eat or drink it or drink in the classroom. Punto. In the classroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Next. Your, your, You read hello. Is that hello? To take off, to take off your shoes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Next. Falta alguien? Next. Well. Well. What? Reading yeah. the reading. Four. part four. S S D. Dos, tres. Ahí solo vayan anotando el número. Cuatro. Okay. El primero. El primero es mm -hmm. word and body language. Word okay. and body language. Yeah. Dos, tres, uno, and tres. Spanglish. My Spanglish is... I know, it's perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me see. Next. Eso es todo, lo del... Lo del, lo del examen final. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso es thank, todo. Thank you, Elmer. Podemos ir a la 5.4. <laughs> ¿A la a cuál? 5.4. 5.4, permítame. 5.4. 5.4. Let me see, dijo el ciego. ¿Y did he see or not? <laughs> 5.4, Elmer. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sí, yeah, I am somebody. <laughs> Y no, you no, have no. three months. ¿Cuál, sí, cuál sí. quieren de aquí? Todas. Ay, Dios. <risa> Solo como tres me han salido buenas ahí. Vaya, pues, anote Eden, Eden, rapidito, Eden, pues. Eden, Eden, Eden. <risa> if you have... If, if you have... If you have... If you have... Three months... Where? To travel. To travel. <risa> Where... Mm -hmm. Where would you go? Y ahí recuerden que pónganla sin punto, porque ahí sí es sin punto. No le pusieron punto. Ahí sin punto. Where would you go? Es sin punto, signo. sí. Pero le, pu le puso el signo, Elmer. Sí, le puso el signo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene el signo. Me extraña, my dear teacher. <risa> Me extraña. Oh, excelente, Elmer. Excelente. Oh, that easy. Oh. Ajá. Elmer, de sí. Elmer, dime. Eh, this, the whole sentence is if you have three months to, to travel, travel, to travel, travel to where, tra 
to travel, coma, coma where, Ajá. where, where, where you go. You Ajá. go, yeah. Uh, si no tengo. Ajá, si la tengo, la tengo mala. Eh, te la voy a, te la voy a escribir en... Eh, tiene dos espacios aquí, mira. Yo te digo. Eh, creo que tiene después. dos espacios. En la, después de la coma de ser Walter. Quizás después de la coma. If you had... Ah, uh -huh. ajá. Después de la coma, espacio. To travel. Y el if tiene que ir en mayúscula. Uh -huh. Sí, el if tiene que ir en mayúscula. If okay. you have three, three months... months to travel, where would you go? Y el signo, okay. Walter, no se le olvide el signo. No, ok, mm -hmm. sí. That's correct. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Put that easy, I will. Ajá, recuerden Bye. que, recuerden ese, ese signo también todo, todo feo de admiración. Hay que ponerlo. Ajá. ¿Por qué feo? Porque yo lo veo feo. Pinche está cabeza abajo. I would fly to uh, Antarctica. I fly. Con A mayúscula, ¿eh? Sí. Fíjense, I've chicos. Y Antarctica, ¿verdad? Con la de spelling. Check the spelling. Always. ¿no? Ajá. Y tiene punto aquí después de Antarctica, si ustedes ven. Ah, ok. I always want to... I uh, want to, to, go there. to go there. Want to, to go there. To go there. Ahora. To go there. Um, no me la toman. Oh. Pero si gusta, copia las demás, pero ya tiene la respuesta. Así que ya vaya viendo si están con las mayúsculas, los signos, después para que logren terminar todo el ejercicio. Sí, porque okay. si no, no vamos a lograr terminar. Ok. Ok, denle la otra. Me. If, if your doctor, if your doctor told you, to, told you to get more, Exercise, coma, quit, quit, sport. Would you choose? Which? Would you choose? Which? To get, perdón, to get more exercise, but to get more exercise. Regresemos. To get more exercise, correcto. Yo lo que hice es copiar la de arriba y e irla poniendo. Ajá. Ah, ok. Copiar esto y, ir, y le di copy, paste adentro y, y ya. Y ahí la fui. Ajá. Este, el final solo el choice sin ningún cambio. Y el signo de interrogación. No es. Vamos de nuevo. Por World to Choose. 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 Ajá, es de Choose, como de Jesús, pero... Choose. Ajá. Un poquito de amaranto. Ajá. 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 Recuérdense que aquí Excelente. son bastante. Excelente. I am not sure, coma, but I might go. Jogging. Jogging two or three times a week. Eli la va copiando, Eli. Sí. Siguiente. Eh, mire. Mire, Elmer, y ahí en el B, en ese que hagamos, el 3 lo puso en número. Sí, el 3 lo puse. Es que three como times. arriba está... Three times. Ah, no, Ahí, no, ahí no, no está en, en número, no. No, está en letra. Ah. No, sí, lo que hice fue copiar la pregunta y después estructurarla adentro. 
Solo va rellenando, Elmer. Elmer. Ajá, solo fui rellenando para que no me diera error. Ok. What would you do if your car broke down? Mm -hmm. El mer, entonces ocupó el, el bull con el participio del verbo que está en paréntesis. Ay. What would you? Ajá, uh -huh. you do. Enseña esa del inicio, Alma, por favor. Ese es el inicio. What would, What you, would you do, do? Uh, if, ah, your, if your if your car broken? Broke, broke, down. Broke, 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 broke down. Broke down. Mm -hmm. Okay, está bien. Next. Next. Cool thing. A four to six. Coma. Y ahí tiene doblemente el, el signo de interrogación. No. ¿A dónde? Ahí, aquí, eh, no hay, aquí no hay signo de, de interrogación, no, arriba, no hay ni uno. Arriba. Uh, ¿A dónde? If I could, if I could. If I could then. No, eh, no, eh, no, eh, no, eh, no, copia la, la oración tal cual, la pregunta tal cual está, solo insértela. Para sí, que no solo insértela. Ajá, si es que si la tira, si no, va a estar ahí, como diría mi abuelita, pariendo, queriendo inventar las palabras, porque... Va. Hay unas que tienen que tienen doble espacio y eso era lo que yo les decía. Ajá, por eso es mejor copiarla. Sí. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Next. Pere, okay. pere, no emociones. Pero, 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 <risa> repita, repita la vela, repita la vela. Esta. If, 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 sí, if, if, golden. Ajá, I would walk. Ajá. Uh -huh. Everywhere. Cooling, cooling, cooling. Couldn't. Cooling. Ah, ok. Couldn't. Cooling. Ajá. A four. To six. Uh -huh. De hecho, es lo mismo four. que está arriba. Ajá. Por eso dice Elmer que solo la. Denle en copy y pónganle paste it en, el, en el espacio y luego solo rellenenlo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Es más fácil de esa y... forma. Es más fácil de esa forma y solo sustituyan el apóstrofe porque posiblemente el de arriba no se los agarre y tengan que poner al 39 en los apóstrofes. Okay. Excelente. Uh -huh. Una coma me está abriendo pedazo. Ok. Next. <ríe> Next. Would you break into your house if you do brain brain into cool a world a wood. Houses. Wood. Y ahí no hay house, ¿verdad? En la respuesta ya hay house. Would you break into ya, your house if you locked yourself out? Pero ya en la pregunta decía houses, houses. y aquí ya no hay houses. Ahí ya no es houses. Uh -huh. Houses. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's you. Uh -huh. Pero, uh -huh. It's you. Ajá, uh -huh. ya no es. Que se la agarró yes. buena, Alba. Sí, me la agarró buena, como soy buena gente yo. <risa> <risa> anyway. Ok, terminamos la última. Acaba el justo tiempo. Y you look yourself. Miren, mis estimados compañeros, mañana en la noche eh, espero... Eh, ¿Atender fiesta o qué? No, atender, atenderles las la preguntas por el grupo, por si no okay. han terminado. 
Bye. Ajá. Bye. Ajá. Y ahí solo les da. Que, a bless you, que... Elmer. Hagan lo que dice Elmer, pónganle literal exacto, porque si no solo les mandan la captura, no tiene idea Elmer de cuál es. Ajá, y no voy a estar buscándolo, no voy a responder esas. Ok, okay. okay. Hasta ahí Está no bueno, teacher. Sí, no, difícilmente. Claro. Ajá. La idea, la idea al final es de que todos nosotros, ¿ya la copiaron? Sí. Todos nosotros la tengamos así, miren. Solo para... Verde. Todo verde. Todo verde, no así, así, miren. Sí. Ajá. Very good. Thank you, teacher, por Thank un you. nivel más. La queremos yes. mucho y esperamos tenerla nuevamente en the next level. Yes, of course. Y que aprendemos, obviamente, nos divertimos. Y... Yes, teacher, que no la cambien. Teacher, I am question. Ah, no, ya no, ya no, ya no, Noemi, ya estuvo. No, los horarios no se han fijado que ya no van a ser de 9 a 10. ¿En serio? Ah, el único qué? horario que han puesto ahí es de 8 a 9. No, qué? tiene que ser de 9 a 10. De 8 a 9. ¿Y no cómo va a ser? Ni yo. Sí. Pero a ahí no he llegado a casa. Ni yo. Ajá, pues ahí dice, yo no sé. La tichera ya está todavía. Dicho, fíjese, por favor. Y el, Díganles allí. Reenvíeme lo que le han mandado, no es porque no tengo yo esa info. Ok, yo se la envío. All porque right. ahí sale en el papel de inscripción cuando uno le pone, que ustedes ponen el horario y ahí dice que el preavanzado está solamente un horario, 8 a 9. Ok. No, teacher, que no nos hagan eso. Sí, porque yo ahora estoy bien jodida todavía. Y eso <risa> no. <risa> No, la verdad es que no podemos a esa hora, teacher. No, ni yo. Ajá. No, a esa hora hay que preguntar. Uh -huh. Sí, hay que preguntar. Sí, eh, porque... Voy a preguntarle yo mañana y les aviso en el chat. Sí, teacher. Va. All right. Por sí, teacher. por favor. Sí, all right. Muchas gracias. gracias, de verdad, por este mes que se pasó súper rápido. All right. Sí. En clase casi que siempre. <coughs> no, Emi. <en> <risa> No, yo sé, por múltiples ocupaciones a veces se nos es, es difícil los estados de salud, pero lo bueno es que aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Y tenemos compañeritos como Elmer que se adelanta, sí, desde el primer día ya tiene todo terminado y eso es genial. Qué chivo, qué chivo. All right, guys, so thank you No, very gracias, much. gracias a usted, teacher, de verdad que gracias. Gracias, gracias. teacher. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. I'll see you. Bye. Si todo sale bien, nos volvemos a ver el 2 de marzo, ¿ok? Primero Excellent. Dios. Primero Dios. Dios. Ok, guys, bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.